Now, today, police also released that 911 call from this case, and we now know some of what that caller said just isn't true. Now, Patrick Perez explains why that 911 caller could end up in trouble. He, he has, has a gun. gun. He, he has, has a, a gun, gun to, to this lady. lady. Is he pointing it at her? He's, He's holding, holding it up. up. He's holding it up, or is he pointing it at her? He was pointing it at her, but he got he got, ma'am, I don't know what's going on, but I need y'all to come quick. Those words from a 911 caller on April 24th sent police to a Southeast Austin apartment complex, ultimately leading to Mike Ramos's death. According to this custodial death report, officers said because of that caller, they had reason to believe Ramos had a gun in his car. When you get a report there's a gun involved, you have to assume that the information that's being given to 911 is accurate. And you, you have to respond accordingly. Dennis Ferris is a retired Austin police officer, and he says people sometimes exaggerate or lie to get officers to respond faster. In this case, police did not end up finding a gun on Ramos or in his car. So if you give bad information, you not only put the person that you're calling about, you might put their life in danger, you're also putting the officer's life in danger, and you might be putting bystanders in danger. And you can also get in trouble. Former Travis County prosecutor and now criminal defense attorney Rick Flores says intentionally lying to a 911 dispatcher could get you about six months in jail and a fine up to $2,000. And in a case like this, to get somebody to act quicker, I would say that arguably that is something that could be seen as an intent to deceive. For the caller to face charges, either Ramos's family or Austin police will have to take it up with the Travis County Attorney's Office. I think there's an argument to be made that if this 911 caller did not specifically make these statements that were not true, that the police officers wouldn't have shown up, wouldn't have reacted the way that they did. In Austin, Patrick Perez, KV News. Now, I'm sure you noticed the 911 caller's voice was edited in the recording APD sent to us. Now, KVU requested the unedited version, but police say that audio likely won't be released until after this case goes through the courts.